Hello, this is Mike Krug with Finale Inventory. In this uh, short video, I want to cover the topic of barcodes and barcode scanning solutions. Here at Finale Inventory, we have a wonderful integrated barcode solution that's uh, custom developed by us. We have both a mobile barcode scanner and a tethered USB scanner. Now, you may be thinking, well, what's the difference between the two? Well, I'm going to show you here. This is a mobile barcode scanner. It has no wires needed in terms of operating. You can walk around in your warehouse or your business, and it is also does not require a internet connection or any type of wireless connection either. So um, I can kind of show you it's running a Windows mobile operating system. So it looks kind of like a really uh, miniature Windows computer. So this is the mobile barcode scanner. And then we also support with uh, less functionality, but we do support this, is a tethered USB scanner. So this one has to be plugged in at all times, and it's uh, super easy, easy to use, but it also doesn't have near the functionality as our mobile barcode scanner. So those are two different barcode uh, scanner types. So let's go into more detail about the mobile barcode scanner. So in order to use the mobile barcode scanner with our solution, you have to come to this area from the home screen. So this is the mobile barcode scanning. So I go to connect to docked mobile scanner. So from here, you would click on it. And of course, at this moment is when the browser is gonna search to so see that it's connected to this mobile barcode scanner. So in order to connect this to the computer, you simply use the USB cradle and you just simply plug it in. And once you plug it in, then Windows will recognize it and you'll see it pop up on the screen uh, in your web browser. And as soon as the uh, Windows loads the drivers, now you see it available. So now that we're connected to the mobile barcode scanner, you simply, uh, to talk to that device, you just connect to it, and then we will synchronize with the cloud, and this blue button is uh, allows you to update all the products, all the lookups, uh, your stock levels, all your orders, your, your purchase orders, your sales orders, and such like that. So all we do is press that button, and we synchronize with the cloud, and you're done. So at that moment, the way the, scan, uh, the barcode scanner works is you then, once you've updated it, you just disconnect. Okay, now there's no longer a connection required. So you can walk around in your, in your business or your warehouse and scan items. So that's how the mobile barcode scanner basically functions. Now I wanna go ahead and review a lot of the functions that you can do on this mobile barcode scanner. So with this mobile barcode scanner, you we have an application that we have uh, custom written and it is for interacting with the cloud and you access it by going to the Windows Start menu and you run the program called Finale Data Collector. So here is what the application looks like and you can see that it's laid up very sim uh, simple and easy to understand and I'm only going to cover the basic uh, operations in this video here, but you can do a, uh, a pick operation, which is where you pick the or, uh, items for a sales order that you're going to ship to your customer. You can do a receive, which is for receiving shipments against your purchase orders for inbound uh, shipments. You can do a transfer, which is for transferring between one sublocation and another. Sublocation meaning a virtual uh, storage location in your warehouse, or it could be from one warehouse to the other. You can do a stock take. That's where you're doing a basically an audit and counting the actual stock on hand. If you choose to hit the more button, you're going to see more items. So you can do a check item. Check item is used to scan any barcode, and if uh, our our um, inventory application or the barcode scanner knows what that barcode is. We'll tell you uh, what it is and how much of it you have and where is it located in your warehouse. You can also do a check sublocation, which is for scanning a sublocation barcode and the scanner will tell you all of the parts and their stock levels that are at that present location. You can do an add stock. You can do a remove stock 
where you're just simply uh, adding stock to your inventory accounts or removing. This is outside of the purchase order um, function. So it's just a raw add or a raw subtract from your quantity levels. Go to more. You have a transfer and remove function, which is combining a transfer function with a remove function all in one. This is very useful for uh, consignment type operations or for businesses that aren't really selling products, but they need to track the usage or consumption. Learn barcode operation is a fantastic feature of the mobile barcode app. It actually allows you to learn UPC barcodes or the barcodes that are already on your products from the manufacturers and associate them with the products in your uh, Finale inventory application. Remove operation, delete operation. This allows you to review anything that you've done on the handheld scanner and either reopen it, edit it, or delete it. That's what the, these two functions are for. So we've got another, uh, another menu here. You can do clear scanner data. That's reserved for basically resetting this uh, scanner back to uh, uh, kind of like a, a, a default setting for uh, when you first set it up. Then you have settings, and setting is where we, we can uh, set multiple different options on using the software. System info is uh, just kind of what it says. And quit actually exits the application. So we can go back, back to the main menu. And that gets us back into the main menu of the application. And you can see that the main menu here, it also tells you what version of the software you're running. But that's a quick overview of some of the basic functionality of the handheld. And you can see that these handhelds have uh, a keypad. So you can actually type in quantities and uh, type in part numbers and such like that. So there's a lot of functionality based here in this mobile barcode app. Thanks for watching.